Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to talk about and show you how you can set a stop limit order on gate.io for both the buy and sell side. Now, in order to do this, you'll first need to have the coins in your account to place these orders. If you don't already have the coins in your account, you can check out my other videos in my gate.io playlist to see how you can deposit your coins into your account. But assuming that you've already got your coins in your account, we can proceed. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time and you don't already have a gate.io account, I'll leave a sign up link down below where you can save 30% on your trade fees. Having said that, let's get started. So right now I'm on the homepage of gate.io and to get to the trade dashboard, I'm going to go over here to trade and I'm going to hover over spot trading and then I'm going to click on professional because I like how it looks compared to standard. There's no real difference between standard and professional other than the layout. You can see much more on the professional layout than you can on the standard layout. Don't think that you actually need to be a quote unquote professional to use this setting. When I click on it, it'll bring up this trade dashboard here. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is select the coin that I'm interested in trading. I will go over here to the top left corner and then click on this spot next to the magnifying glass. And then I'm going to type in the name of the coin or the ticker in there. So I'm interested in cake and I will type in cake. So I'm going to click on cake and it'll bring us to the trade dashboard as you can see over here where it says cake slash USDT. One thing to note about gate.io is that they only have trade pairs against USDT. They don't have any trade pairs against other stable coins. Now, before I show you how you can set a stop limit order, I'm first going to explain what a stop limit order is for those of you who don't know. A stop limit is basically when you're looking to either buy or sell a coin after a certain price condition has been triggered. This is different from a limit order. In a stop limit order, you're putting conditions in which I'll explain as I go along. The way you use them depends greatly on your trading strategy. Now to place a buy stop limit order, I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to want to click on price condition. And I can already see that it's on the buy tab, so I don't really need to do anything. Now I'm going to type in a number higher than market value, which is 18.18 right now. So I'm going to type in a number. So let's just say 20. So what this means is that if the price hits 20, then it will automatically buy. In this box, I'm going to enter in a number higher than this number here here. Now, basically what this box is asking is at what price am I willing to pay up to should the price of cake go to $20. So I'm going to enter in, let's just say 21. This doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be paying this price though, because the order book works on a queue system. If you want to buy the coins at market value, you want to set the price to a relatively higher number. There's no guarantee that your order will be fulfilled if the number is too low. So that's why you would want to set a little bit higher. Next, I'll either enter in the number of coins I'd like to purchase or the dollar amount of that coin. So example, if I would like one coin, right, I would enter one over here or conversely enter in a dollar figure. So let's just say if I was interested in buying 50 USDT worth, this would automatically adjust. So all you need to do is fill one box in and the other box will automatically fill in. But for myself, I'm only only interested in buying one cake over here if the price goes above 20 bucks and I will pay a maximum of $21. Okay, so I like what I see here. Now I'm going to click on buy USDT to cake this button over here. And then when I do, it's going to ask me if I'm okay with this. I'm going to click confirm. And as you can see over here, if I go to price condition, you can see that my order is in. And basically this stop limit order on the buy side is primarily used for breakout strategies or to cover short positions. Now to place a stop sell
cell limit order. I'm going to go over here and then click on cell. And then I'm going to go click on this drop down menu and I can already see it's on price condition. Over here, this is where I need to switch it. I need to make sure that it's facing this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a number that's lower than market value. So I can see that right now it's 18. So let's just say 16 is the number. And basically what this means is if the price of cake hits $16, which is below market value, then it'll automatically sell. Now in this box, I'm going to enter a number that's even lower than this. So let's just say 15. And what this box is saying is at what price am I willing to sell cake if the price of cake goes to $16. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily mean that I will be getting this price because again, the order book works on a queue system. If you want to sell the coins at market value, you would really want to set the price relatively low compared to this. There's no guarantee that your order will get fulfilled if the number is too high. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the number of coins or cake I'd like to sell. So I can either enter in one and it'll give me what this is in USDT value, or I can enter in example 20 USDT worth, and this will automatically adjust over here. So again, just like before, all you need to do is enter in one number and it will change automatically on the other side. So now that I've entered in some numbers, I'm just going to change this back to one. I like what I see. I'm going to click on sell cake to USDT and and I like what I see. I'm going to confirm the order. And here we go. This again means that if the price goes to $16, it's going to automatically sell one cake for up to $15. So this stop limit order is primarily used to minimize losses on a long position or to short sell on margin or on derivatives. So there you have it. That's pretty much how you can place both a buy and sell stop limit order on gate.io. These orders are good until they're filled. However, if you'd like to cancel your orders that you've placed, you can just go over here to this X and then click it and you can see it's been canceled. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below as I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.